positive developments apparently in Tanzania, there were, quote, some shortcomings, unquote. And Mr. Vezier, you said not everything is perfect in Tanzania. Now, I have dealt a lot with Tanzania. I'm in contact with many brave men and women in that country. And we are still in a situation, even under the new president, where leaders, members, and supporters of the opposition, something which is totally normal in democracies in Europe, but isn't normal in Africa, that members, supporters, and leaders of opposition every day are facing harassment, illegal detention, intimidation, and persecution. Are these really, Ms. Laringenia, some shortcomings? Question mark. Do you believe that the opposition in the moment is able to conduct their political activities uninterrupted? If yes, please describe us how. If not, what is the European Union actually doing to improve the situation apart from sending messages. Ms. Langinia, would the External Action Service share the view which many observers have shared and stated that the case against Freeman Mbui, the leader of the opposition, is politically motivated and has no legal foundation to be in the court of law? I read with interest that representatives from the American and British embassies in Dar es Salaam were present at the court trial, were also representatives of the EU present. You mentioned that you've met Tindu Lisu in Brussels as a leader of the Tanzanian opposition. Well, Naam karibu sana katika channel yako pendwa ya Lili Media. Nisem sahihi eh, yawe kupata bali mbali 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 zinatokea ndana na nchi ya Tanzania. Kuba zaidi eh, tunangazia eh, swala kisiasa mbapo umoja ulaya eh, umezungumza eh, na umejadiliana kusia na maswala kisiasa eh, na uhuru wa watu kujieleza nchini Tanzania mbapo pia E, watu mbali mbali amejaribu kuzungumzia swala hilo e, katika ambalo ndio sasa hivi na trend katika mitandao ya kijamii. Tunaanza na mwanaharakati wanaitwa e, Maria Salungi na pia amezungumzia swala hilo e, akisema kwamba hebu sikilizeni kwa umakini mkubwa e, spana za David M Kalista kuhusu Tanzania. I don't hear e, EU questions answers e, correct e, those parliament questions. Please do not try to uh, uh, of cut the veil a grave situation of political and the civil rights uh, repression what we need in action uh, not won ayo ni maneno ya uh, maria sarungi kuhusiana na uh, kuhusiana na walichokisema umoja wa ulaya kuhusu issue eh, hiyo ya haki za binadamu moja kama kuna video ambayo umeiona hapo mwanzo pia ikijaribu kuelezea hali halisi na situation nzima ya nchini Tanzania ambapo umoja wa ulaya jinsi ulivyo eh, ulivyo jadiliana kuhusiana na Uh, swala la Tanzania hasa tukiangalia uh, kuna viongozi mbali mbali wa kisiasa ambao wameweza kushikiliwa uh, katika mahakama mbalimbali mbali na katika magereza mbali mbali hapa nchini Tanzania akiwemo uh, kiongozi mkubwa wa kambi ya rasmi uh, ya upinzani lakini pia ye ndo kiongozi wa chama cha demokrasia na maendeleo uh, mwenyekiti Flemoni Mboe ambaye ameweza kushikiliwa kwa muda mrefu kwa sasa yuko gerezani na kesi yake inaunguruma kwa mashtaka ya ugaidi kwa hiyo bunge la moja ulaya limeweza kuzungumzia eh, swala hilo kama video ambayo umeweza kusikiliza hapo mwanzo eh umeweza kusikiliza hapo eh, mwanzo kwa hivyo hiyo ni video ambayo umeweza kusikiliza eh, kuhusiana na swala hilo la eh, haki za binadamu nchini Tanzania eh, haki za binadamu nchini Tanzania kama ulivyoweza eh, kusikiliza katika video hiyo hapo eh, nini maoni yako kuhusiana na video hiyo ambayo E, ina trend sana katika mitandao ya kijamii kuhusiana na issue hiyo e, ya e, issue hiyo ya namna ambavyo serikali inavyoshughulikia masuala ya kisiasa na uhuru wa watu kujieleza hapa nchini Tanzania mpaka imefikia wakati sasa 
e, bunge la Ulaya limeweza kuacha shughuli zake na kuweza kujadiliana kuhusiana na Tanzania. Kwa sasa tuna cha ziada tafadhali usisahau subscribe yako ya Lady Media. Bye bye.